over here we have the bodies and the claws and the shells. Yep. Not the claws, but the shells, the shells. of the claw. Yep. Um, all, all in here, I see rosemary. The shrimp I see, shells okay. as well. Got it. Um, you've got two habaneros, because it's it. Fra Diablo. So the translation of seafood Fra Diablo is actually the brother of the devil. <laughs> I have two brothers. I don't know how they feel about that. And it's basically this very hot tomato style sauce that's usually served over shellfish. First, I need to build this broth. I par cook the lobster in just boiling water. Pull those out, throw them into an ice bath, let them cool. I have my big Dutch oven, and I get it nice and hot with a little bit of olive oil, and I just throw in carrot, celery, and onion, some mirepoix, and I let that start to brown with some whole cloves of garlic, some rosemary, some parsley, and some basil. I let that bloom, and then I take the lobster apart, and those shells are in the pot. I'm using shrimp as well in the dish, so I'm gonna peel the shells off of the shrimp and throw them into the stock pot as well. And at this point, I can add butter, some habanero chilies, a little bit of chili flake, tomato paste, lobster paste, a good amount of bourbon, white wine is just kind of bright, and then chicken bone broth just adds volume. So my broth is cooking, I start to organize my seafood, I take the lobster tails out of its shell, I chop those up, I have my scallops that are cleaned and ready to be sauteed, I have my shrimp that have been cleaned and are ready to be sauteed, and I just sear the scallops on one side, I let them get nice and brown, then I flip them, I add some butter to the pan for the flavor, I throw my shrimp in there because I just want the shrimp to slightly saute and warm. And then the lobster goes in just to finish cooking and to warm as well. So the broth has been cooking for a good 45 minutes to an hour. I strain all of the large ingredients out of the stock pot, blend it so that it emulsifies. The sauce is ready to go. That's what are you doing with the bread? That's going to be served with roasted fennel and the fra diablo. So a great sauce always needs a great piece of bread. That's like an Italian motto. So this is like the original fatunta, right? The original garlic bread. It's right. rubbed. Right. Actually, Mark Murphy grilled my bread. Thank you, right. sir. You're right. um, a ton of nice olive oil rubbed with raw garlic, salt. And that's going to go because don't you want to just stick that in there? Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. But I know you want to. So wait, it. this bread into that thing? God, I'm yeah, telling you, there's something over there. over there that's burning. Ah! Wait, I'm getting my. Murphy, you got your salad ready? Uh huh. So okay. this is the seafood fra diablo. I've been walking through this through from Correct. the live live mains that you cook to yep. the shrimp shells to the mirepoix to the tomato yep. paste to a ton of bourbon in you and the dish. For plating, I just mix up the seafood. It's a little scallop, it's a little lobster, it's a little shrimp. Top it with roasted fennel and just a ton of fresh herbs. Nussle the bread into the corner of the bowl. And just before we're about to eat, I pour this beautiful buttery, lobster shellfish broth over the top of all the seafood. So you got three different seafoods. Then the I fennel. did the roasted fennel. Then I did the, the bread, the garlic bread. Seafood Fra Diablo. It's a dish that I've been eating forever. And I've had it six ways to Sunday. But on this Sunday, the world changed. It was so good. 